welcome to the 2007 first robotics competition in this year's game Rack and Roll. This year's game is played on a 27 by 54 foot carpeted field. Two alliances of three teams each are located at the ends of the field from where they operate their robots. The center of the field is occupied by a scoring structure known as the rack. Three levels of scoring locations, known as spiders, are located within the rack. Each spider hangs from a series of chains that allows it to translate and move freely if it's impacted by a robot or game piece. The game pieces are inflatable plastic pool tubes. There are three types of game pieces. Keepers are placed during the autonomous period. Ringers are placed during the teleoperated period and score points for the alliance. And the black spoiler tubes are used to negate the effects of the ringers. The objective of the game is to place the keepers and the ringers into rows. The rows can be either horizontal or vertical. The match starts with a 15 second autonomous period. Robots can use onboard sensors to help locate target lights, which will help identify the locations of the scoring targets. As the autonomous period ends, robots must drop any keepers still in their possession. The human operators then step forward and take control of the robots. Robots return to their home zone to retrieve ringers from the human players. The ringers are then strategically placed on the rack. Alternately, robots can drive to the far end of the field to retrieve ringers that are waiting in the opponent's home zone. In either case, the robots attempt to make as many rows as possible. Here we see a red robot placing a ringer, completing a vertical row of three and a horizontal row of two. His alliance partner then places another ringer, extending the row to three. Black spoiler tubes are placed on the rack and used to negate the effects of the ringers. Unlike the other game pieces, spoilers can be moved. They can be picked up and relocated to cover any other ringer on the rack. As the match draws to a close, robots will race back to their home zones. Bonus points are earned for each of the Alliance robots that are elevated off the floor. The value of the bonus is modified by the height above the floor. The final score is determined by the length and number of rows created by game pieces and added to the bonus points. In this example, blue squeaks out a win over red, 90 to 84. Good luck, and we'll see you at the competition.